Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Like I said, I'm trying to capture the story of Easter, going through different, different processes of Easter, just for us to take a look at it, see how principles uh, lace the whole event of, 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 of Easter. And this morning, I, I, just, I just want to just sit, bring you this glad, uh, heartwarming uh, message of unstoppable procedures. Now, do, do you remember that when Jesus was uh, died and crucified and all that, he was placed in a tomb and they placed soldiers there, they sealed the tomb, they placed soldiers there. But on the third day that God wanted to do something, soldiers became as stiff and immobile, tomb was rolled away, not by the effort of men, but God, angels, God sent divine assistance to roll the stone. And after they had rolled the stone, they pulled him out of that grave and removed his clothes, you know. And this is just what I'm trying to say, that there's, there's a process of God, no one can stop it. They tried to stop it by placing him in a tomb and sealing the tomb and putting a stone over there. And then they placed guards over there. But it is still the procedure of God, the process of God, the divine process for your promotion, the divine process for your upliftment, the divine process for your, for your promotion. No one can stop it. If God opens the door, no one can shut it. And if he shuts the door, no one can open it. So here's the point. When, unless the Bible says, unless God watches over a city, they watch man does labor in vain. And unless God bless it, they can't do anything. What I want to say to you this morning, there is an unstoppable movement of God in your life. And no one can change it. It's impossible. They will try, but they can't. If God wants you there, no matter what it is. If God wants you in a position of prominence, they may put you in a dungeon, but you step on the and become the prime minister in the palace. When God said, I'm going to move my son out of that grave, nothing can stop me. So every activity of humanity that tries to stop the divine process in your life are but puny uh, acts of men, of uh, puny acts of humanity to try and stop the hand of divinity. It won't work. Why? Because what God is doing is unstoppable. So I came to announce to somebody that there's an unstoppable process of God. There's an unstoppable procedure of God right now that is happening and no one can stop it. Let them try. It will not work. Let them try. It will not work. The more they try, the more. I mean, let them pile up every resistance. When God wants to break through that resistance, he will break through that resistance. There's an unstoppable procedure of God in your life and no one can stop it. No one can change it. It's there. What is written is written. If he wants to take you up there, they can't stop it. I'm so glad that sometimes men are not participants in the council meeting of God. Men are never council members when it comes to God. He makes those decisions by himself, for himself with himself and with no one else. So every decision to move you forward, no one can stop it. They will try. They will build a tomb around it. They will put a seal on it. They may set soldiers around it. But when the time comes, nothing can stop them. So you know what? There's a song that says, ain't no stopping now. Ain't no stopping us now. We've got the groove. We've got the move. I like this. You're unstoppable. See you later.